Now that's a good wire tuck job. It's all tucked. What's up guys, so not too much planned for today. I'll just start right now and I'm gonna start taking everything apart, getting it down to the raw frame so I can hose it off and clean it off. I'm really like nitpicky about this, but I kinda wanna build it fresh as day again, finalize it, everything and then keep it clean because I keep thrashing it. If you guys watched the last video, I made a complete custom harness for my scooter. I took all the extra wiring I had in, took that completely out, scrapped all those clips I had, and I went straight straight to like the barest I can get for wires. I have no electrical, anything really. Um, except for light and a tail light. Anything else I took off. Uh, I'm trying to finalize everything so I can build it back together. So tonight I'm going to take it down to the frame. I'm going to clean it. Um, possibly find a good mounting point for my battery. Uh, tuck the harness and then find a good seat lock because my seat was really sketchy before. So yeah. I'm going to get started on that and then um, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> everything and cleaned it um it's all clean again looking pretty new got touched some stuff up with paint um i'm gonna take the wheels off this scooter put them on here because they're better condition uh this one is a slow leak i have to pump it up every single time take those off possibly paint them black put those in and then um really not much other plan tonight uh, i did just realize taking this off how cracked it is like this whole piece right here is completely cracked so i'm gonna get a hot glue gun and try to hot glue that and see if that doesn't help it but uh yeah might possibly change my light mounting position when i put it all into and, and i really want to remount my battery somewhere sturdy um so i might have ray weld that if i don't get my welder back in time <laughs> isn't the best way to fix this this front shield I have that's all cracked but hot gluing it was the only way I could think of right now I, don't, um, I know it's like plastic weld or like stuff like that for plastic but I don't have that so um hot glued it and I'm gonna paint it but it's not bad I mean I could tell it's stronger at least it's not rattling now hot glue it all in there too we'll be fine and if it breaks I can use the other one off a uh, Scoot whore. I kind of want to rewrap my seat, so guys, leave some comments below what you guys think I should wrap it with. I'm kind of over the corduroy. Really not sure what I want to rewrap my battery. I was thinking maybe something like this, like more against the edge. But I what I would really like is right here. I really want to mount my battery right here. Keep all the weight on the rear. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think this is where I'm going to reroute my battery, so I need to find a way to weld something to hold this on. I want to strip my seat and just have it where the seat's mounted, no bucket. So uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now, where I want everything to mount at. So that's going to move my battery to right there on that bar. Um, I'm just going to figure this all this out real quick. So this is for anyone who ever wants to do this. I'm relocating my battery. I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm gonna figure out a thing to weld right here. I'm gonna go more into detail for you guys this time because I, I know a lot of you guys ask later on. So battery's gonna go here. I'm gonna weld like an L tab, L tab, and then have a strap go around the battery so it can only go from the top to the bottom. So that means I'm gonna have to do some wiring and figure out how to mount my battery wires up there. So I'm gonna take my harness back apart probably. But then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna strip the whole bucket for the seat and I'm going to weld something from here 
go around the front of the seat down and then mount it on the back back there. Now I just figured out that this is the old rack that comes on the back of the moped usually right here. It's like a basket rack. I'm going to cut this plastic out a little bit so these can sit in there. We're going to weld the, the bolts right here. I'm going to put bolts on here, weld it straight to this, weld the bolts to the nuts. This will sit flusher. This right here is going to be support and I'm going to probably put a strap weld from here, current down so it has support on the middle of the seat so I don't sit my ass through this. Then these right here are going to come straight down, probably like square tubing pieces like so. And weld those to here and then have them a bolt into here. So that way I can take my seat off from the top. I mean from underneath by a nut. That's what I'm thinking off from there as well. So this is going to be the new project. I think it's going to look so good, it's going to delete a lot of my wiggle and everything like that, make the scooter super solid. I'm going to love it, I'm going to love it. So I'm just redoing my scooter basically, I'm literally just remodeling it and um, I'm stoked on it. So if you guys are stoked for this, make sure to leave a comment below, I'll leave this video a thumbs up, but uh, I'm going to get as much as I can done tonight, but that means this video is probably going to be several videos now, um, basically redoing the whole frame of my moped. So. But it should be done pretty soon. I just gotta get everything together so I can go over to Ray's, get it all welded, and then have it all done. So I'm gonna start measuring everything right now and getting it all lined up. That's a good ass fit now. No wiggle at all. I'm stoked. This is gonna look so good. How I came up with the rack idea, that was like extreme just brainstorming popped in my head. I'm so stoked on that because I feel like Ray's going to be stoked on that too because he was thinking about doing the same thing. Wow, it's going to be beast. I'm going to figure out how to use some of this metal I have laying around and uh, make a seat brace. Now this might sound crazy to you guys, but I like doing edgy stuff with the scooters like the 150 swap and the, the obnoxious exhaust and just like the whole customizing thing. So what I want to do is reroute this battery about here keeping all my weight on the rear, nothing up front, and just keeping it like good for wheelies. Um, now I'm thinking, instead of mounting it below like this, I want more clearance with the wheel. Mounting it halfway should be, the weight should be centered on the well. So I feel like that'd be the strongest. Now, essentially I would have a strap going down the back, it would be the mount holder to the frame. Then I would have another piece it's coming across below the battery that's welded to this one. That's creating an L bracket. After that, I would have one going up to the front of the battery. There, I would figure out probably a strap scenario or something where I can have like a... I'd probably do a strap and then the strap hooks onto something on the other side. And then I'd probably want run one across here for support underneath the whole thing. Have the battery right here and I'd probably cover it with something. Um, maybe plastic or something like that, keeping it away from the gas tank. Leave your comments down below what you guys are thinking. Um, but by the time you guys watch this, I probably would have already done it. So I think it's going to look sick. Getting too ahead of myself and digging myself a hole. But I think I can do it. I think it's going to look sick. So I'm going to start cutting all this up so when Ray, I see Ray next, he can just weld it. Sideways, got the bottom plate. This would be the backing one, the one that's welded to the frame. This would be to the front, so then it'd be completely you can't go back or forth. I'd find a strap situation right there. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna run one this way, this way, and this way to leave it in a box. Now this should be everything I have to cut. I labeled it and everything so I don't forget when I go to raise to weld it, but this should be everything. Let me show you. Something like this. Holding it down. I'm gonna strap it on this side a little well, strap it there. That's all I'm gonna have. I don't know, I've never seen it done before, so leave a comment below if you dig it and if you need any other instructions on how to do it. If you guys wanna do it, let me know. But we're gonna be welding this probably another day. So since I can't weld anything because I don't have a welder, I'm just gonna mount, um, I'm gonna re pull out my harness, I guess, now because now the battery's gonna be moved back, so some connections are gonna be changed. I'm gonna go through and fix that now.
that should be everything for the um, connection to the battery now. So now my harness should still run along here like a stock one would. Now I have these wires that I turned around as you can see so they flow smoothly. These will, they're not connected to anything right now. I've been busting knuckles open left and right lately. Um, my CDI box is still going to be mounted up front somewhere. It's probably going to be mounted just down here somewhere. That's light, so that doesn't matter. Battery, battery cables run along here now. They're going to run all the way out just with these ones up to here. This is just temporary, guys. They're not actually going to run right here. Not actually going to run to the back of this seat mount. Key ignition in that. I'm going to have to reroute my headlight, uh, extend those cables too now that they're connecting back here as well. So, do my seat at the same time we do the battery box, and we'll be good to go. Play everything in, and we'll be done. So, get a super sick ride in this weekend with everybody, and we'll have some fun doing some wheelies and uh, trying out the new setup. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.